So to calibrate the Disto X, I have a separate video that covers the details of how to do that. But just to review a little bit, if you go back into the Pocket Topo software, calibration is available as a separate menu within this software. So if you go to Menu, Calibration, it'll open up the calibration screen. And this is data that was from a recent calibration I did on this uh, 3219 unit. Once you're in the calibration menu, you can go back to Menu, and you can start and stop uh, a calibration. So if I click on Start here, it'll put the Disto unit into calibration mode. It'll say Cal 000, and it's waiting for data. If you go back to Menu and click Stop, it should exit out of that calibration menu. Uh, once you actually go through the process of collecting the 56 data points needed to run a calibration, which I've already done here, uh, you can click on this Evaluate button. It'll go through an analysis and compute the calibration coefficients. It'll give you this delta value down here. In this case, it's uh, 0 0.29. Some other options are under Menu. There's an NL which is, stands for nonlinear. So some versions of the hardware, there are some accelerometers that don't give a linear response with changes in angle. And uh, in order to get low delta values, you have to have this NL feature checked. And it adds some additional calibration coefficients. It improves the curve fitting. So if I run evaluate again with NL turned on, generally you get a lower delta value. In this case, it's down to 0 0.16. Uh, I don't think there's any good guidance on whether or not you should use NL. I use it most of the time because it gives me lower delta values. And in some cases with some units, again, in order to get a delta value below the recommend, recommended value of 0 0.5, NL has to be turned on. Once you've run a calibration and you've got a good low delta value, again, below 0 0.5, uh, you can then use this update uh, function here and it'll send that calibration back to the unit. It'll say here in the menu, update in progress. It takes about 30 seconds or so for it to update. Once it's completed updating, you'll see OK down in the window there. So a couple notes on calibrations. Once you've conducted a calibration, you can save that data. So you can create a calibration file and save it. Uh, you can export it as a text file for archival purposes you can open an old calibration file. But it's worth noting that old calibration files aren't of very much use. Uh, some people have suggested or thought that if you conduct a calibration in one region of the country or in a particular cave, you could save that calibration file. And then when you go back to that cave, you could reload that into the Disto X. But the reason, the primary reason you need to conduct calibrations on a regular basis is that the magnetometers in the Disto X tend to drift over time and old calibrations rarely give good results. So if it's been a couple of months since the last calibration, even if you're going back to the same cave you've been to before, generally calibrations need to be repeated over time, and the co coefficients that are calculated tend to change with time. So saving old calibration files isn't of any great use other than if you're a data nerd and you just want to see what the values are over time.